All right, in this video, we're going to look uh, a little bit more at similar triangles, and we're going to start a study of looking at quadrilaterals that have some similar triangles inside of them. That is, if you take the diagonals and the sides of the triangle, that some combination of those or pieces of those things will make some triangles that will have uh, similar triangles. Remember, we did this earlier for some of those things being congruent triangles, but what if we relax that a little bit instead of looking for congruent ones, look for similar ones. So let's first look at trapezoids. Okay, so here's a trapezoid, and we see it's been constructed so that AB and uh, CD are uh, parallel. Okay, so you know, just any old kind of trapezoid there. Now, what do we know about this? Well, if you have parallel lines, we have the Z property that says if you have a pair of uh, alternate interior angles, this one and this one, let's mark those, this one and this one, as uh, angles between 0 and 180. I'll make them both red. And if you look, they are, sure enough, congruent. And that's going to be true no matter where we where we place these. Well, once you have that, uh, we could have done the same thing to show that these angles here are congruent, or we could use the fact that we have vertical angles right here. Let's, let's use that. And just look at these angles right here. Here's one. And here's one. Okay, let's make both of those uh, between 0 and 180 degrees. And we see that those are also the same size. Of course, they're vertical angles. We know that's an early result that we knew way back. Well, that makes these two triangles congruent. Here, let me shade them in. So triangle A, X, B. And let's get the order right. A corresponds to C. X corresponds to X. And D corresponds to C. And so we get those two triangles are similar. Well, what does that tell us? That tells us that these side lengths are going to be proportional, right? That, for example, that this side um, from, uh, let's see, let's do it in order, A to X over C to X is the same as B to X over D to X, and which is the same as A to B over uh, C to D. So we have similar triangles there. Now these two over here are not necessarily similar. I think you can pretty clearly see that just by that counterexample right there. Okay, so if we want to write this up as a proof, here it is. Given a convex quadrilateral, quad A, B, C, D, and let X be the intersection of the diagonals, quad A, B, C is a trapezoid with A, B parallel to C, D, uh, side AB parallel to side CD, if and only if triangle ABX is similar to triangle CDX. So this is actually an if and only if statement. So if we start with the similar triangles, we'll be able to get the parallel lines. I kind of talked you through the proof, uh, the, the forward direction already, starting with the trapezoids. So that's part A. So we're given a, a convex quadrilateral quad ABCD. If it's convex, its diagonals must intersect at a point. Let x be the intersection point of the diagonals. So that's the setup first. In part A, if it if and only if statement, it's going to have one hypothesis and a conclusion for part A. Part B, it's going to reverse that. So the converse is there. So the, the hypothesis and conclusion re, uh, reverse. So we're going to basically it's two proofs, two theorems, uh, two propositions, one each with its own given and own. own uh, you know, conclusion. So the given hypothesis here is we start with the trapezoid ABCD. Uh, of course, two of the sides will be parallel, might as well be the one A, B, and C, D. Now, what we show, we show by the Z property, uh, angle ABD is congruent to angle CDB. Another name for ABD is ABX. Another name for angle CDB is angle CDX. Vertical angles are congruent, so AXB, that angle is that congruent to the angle CXD. And then by the angle, angle triangle similarity, we get our similar triangles. So that's the setup we already did. Now let's go backwards and look at the uh, look at the converse here. 
This time, the given is that these triangles are similar. Okay, so let's look back at the picture, talk you through it. So this time, what do we know? We know these triangles are similar. So we get proportional sides, but the main thing is we get angles. So angle A corresponds to angle C, the way, the way these are uh, um, similar to each other. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that, again, by the Z property, this time the Z uh, property is an if and only if statement. It says that if you have two lines cut by transversal, so your two lines are the line through A and B, the full line there, the full line through D and C, and the transversal is the full line A through C, that the pair of alternate interior angles here, A and C, are congruent if and only if that's they're parallel. So before we started with parallel, we conclude that the angles are congruent, Alternate interior angles are congruent. This time, we start with the alternate interior angles congruent, prove that the lines are parallel. That makes it a trapezoid uh, done. It's all proof. Okay, and so that's the end of the proof there. So that's a pretty straightforward thing, but one thing I want you to notice, basically, is this is a nice property of trapezoids. It's a trapezoid if and only if you get a pair of similar triangles here. Again, any kind of trapezoid. That includes somewhere in here isosceles trapezoids, uh, somewhere in here parallelograms, uh, right trapezoids, uh, rectangles, uh, squares, somewhere in here. I could make it be a square maybe. I don't know, maybe not quite a square yet. Somewhere, somewhere in there it makes a square and so forth. But all of those are just examples of trapezoids. So any old trapezoid, this is going to, this result will be true. Okay.